Hello everyone, welcome to mathematics class. Today we are looking at the topic index notation and function. And for this particular topic, for you to be able to solve question very well, there are some laws that you need to know. It's called the laws of indices. Laws of indices. Now, I'll be explaining some of the laws to you. Number one law is called multiplication law. Multiplication law. And then this law states that when you are multiplying numbers whose bases are the same, then the power will be added. For example, let's take an example A. We have 2A base A to power of A multiplied by base 2 to power of B. Then to get the answer to this question, take one of the bases, which is 2, then add your power A plus B. Take another example. We have 2 raised to power 3 multiplied by 2 raised to power of 2. This is simply 2 raised to power of 3 plus 2, which is 2 raised to power 5, which is 32. Now, when you have group of numbers, how do you do it? Another example, C. As me, I have numbers like this, 2 raised to power of 2, Multiply by 3 to the power of 1, multiply by 2 to the power of 3, multiply by 3 to the power of 3. How will you go about this? Then you can take the two bases that are the same, bring them together. You have 2 to the power of 2, multiply by 2 to the power of 3. Then multiply by 3 to the power of 1, multiply by 3 to the power of 3. Then apply the method that I explained earlier. Taking one of the bases here, you have 2 raised to the power of 2 plus 3. Multiply by, take one of the bases here, 3 raised to the power of 1 plus 3. Then, 2 raised to the power of 3 gives you 2 raised to the power of 2 plus 3, gives you 2 raised to the power of 5. Multiply by, 3 raised to the power of 1 plus 3, gives you 3 raised to the power of 1, 3 raised to the power of 4. Then, 2 raised to the power of 5 will give me 32 multiply by 3 to the power of 4, which is 81. And then you can solve the multiplication, which is 32 multiplied by 81. From here, you can do 1 multiplied by 2, 2, 1 multiplied by 3, 3. Come here, 8 multiplied by 2, 16, plus 6, carry 1. 8 multiplied by 3, 24, plus 1, 25. Then you have 2. 9, 5, 2. So your answer is simply 2, 5, 9, 2. So that's all about motivation law. Now the second one we're looking at is division law. Division law. Now this law states that when you have numbers whose bases are the same and you want to divide them, then you can subtract the divisor from the dividend. What I mean by divisor and dividend? For example, I have number 2a over 2b. This a here is called dividend. Dividend. Y b is called divisor. So what I'm trying to say is that, example, if you want to divide 2 raised to the power of 4 divided by 2 raised to the power of 2 is simply taking one of the bases, 2, then subtract the divi divisor minus dividend, which is 4 minus 2. Then you have 2 raised to the power of 2 equals to 4. Another example is when we have 3 raised to the power of 5 divided by 3 raised to the power of 3. Remember, we take one of the bases, 3. Then we subtract our divisor from our dividend, which is 5 minus 3. Then we have 3 raised to the power of what? 2, which equals to 9. So, example, in this example, we have looked at number 1, multiplication law, and number 2, division law. In our next class, I will talk about others' law. Hope you get it. We'll continue in the next class. Thank you.